today. Our devotion for today will be from uh, Philippians chapter 4. I'll be reading from verses 4 to 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any thing praiseworthy, meditate on these things. I think we can say that these verses are God's instructions for Christians. It listed down, I can see five things that God is telling us that we should be doing. And then the result will be the last, which is the peace of God. Okay. Let me also point out that uh, in verse 5 of these uh, verses, it mentioned that the Lord is at hand. So this is a very timely passage, I believe, because with everything that is happening around us, it is quite obvious that the Lord is at hand. So I think these verses will be very applicable during this time that we're having this uh, crisis. So what are those five things that uh, we can pick up from here uh, regarding God's instructions for Christians? First, it says in verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. So we need to rejoice. Whether we are in good times or in bad times, especially James chapter 1 verse 2 said that count it all joy when we are facing trials. So we need to rejoice. That's the first thing. Second thing mentioned here is uh, in verse 5, let your gentleness be known to all men. So it's telling us to, we have to be kind to people. We have to be salt and light in this earth more especially during this period of crisis. So whenever there's opportunity to be kind, to be gentle with people, let us show it, because that will be also an opportunity to share Jesus to them. Third thing that's mentioned here in verse 6, which is the, you know, usually uh, what is quoted from this verse is the verse 6, which is, be anxious for nothing. So it says, do not worry, because worry will not, solve anything. Being anxious, having an anxiety attack, having sleepless nights, uh, always uh, thinking of uh, bad things that will you know happen, they don't solve anything but they actually complicate things. You know, uh, anxiety is uh, one of the common reasons for many of the physical uh, illnesses of men. So it may cause more problems and will not give any solution. So God's word says, be anxious for nothing or do not worry. Okay. We leave all our worries to God. Okay. And uh, fourth thing that we are told to do here is also found in verse six. It says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So what it's saying, it says that we need to pray to God with thanksgiving. Do not forget that one. With thanksgiving. Because sometimes you just keep on praying and giving a list of requests to, to our Lord. And forgetting the benefits that we have received. So we should always combine our prayer with thanksgiving. And make sure you're praying to the right God. Okay? And... Uh, the fifth thing that uh, these verses are telling us to do is to think positive. Okay, From verse 8, it says, Whatever are true, noble, praiseworthy, think of those things. Okay, So think positive. And what is the result if you do all these uh, five things that are mentioned here? 
it is found in verse 7. We will attain the peace of God in our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. And that is something very precious. That is something that money cannot buy, the peace. Peace of mind, peace in our hearts. That is the most important thing that we need now. Whenever we're facing trials, we need the peace of God to help us think uh, clearly, to help us make the right decisions, to help us go through this crisis. Okay, to summarize, the five things that we are told to do is rejoice always. Second, we have to be kind to people. Third, we should not worry. Fourth, we should pray with thanksgiving to God. And fifth, we should have a positive thinking. And this will all lead to the peace of God in our hearts and minds. Okay, let's praise God and let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that you are the one true living God. And you are the one in control of everything. This pandemic is not a surprise for you. Lord, continue to use this pandemic to teach us. Teach us how to be humble. Teach us how to rejoice during trial. Teach us how to be kind and gentle to people. Teaching us how to pray fervently. Teaching us not to worry. And teaching us to think and appreciate the positive things that are happening around us, Lord. May you be glorified. May you be honored. May you be praised as we go through this pandemic and as more people come to you prayerfully searching for the true living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.